That is what I'm talking about. Let's just move that out of the light. All right, okay, so um, my Facebook status at the moment is about my book. I am writing a book. The reason I'm doing this as my video is because um, editor's comment was, wait, you wrote a book? Yes, is the short answer to that. Uh, so what I'm going to do in the style of Neremon, who did Lost in three minutes, and Drew, who did Dragon Ball in five minutes, I am going to use post-it notes to explain my book to you. Okay, so basically, a couple of things you need to know. The book is set on Earth in year 3012. Everybody has data chips. Data chips are small, they store your identity, they also start your car, but they don't start your car when you're drunk, and most importantly they are run by nanotechnology. The nanoparticles are essentially tiny little robots. Uh, they don't look like this, but this is how I decided to draw them. They're really, really small and they only work in large groups and when they're together they give off the impression of dust. The chips go into people's left arms, Everyone on the planet has a chip, and it becomes their driving license when they become 18. Five people have a very special type of nanoparticle chip. These five special people, instead of having about five nanoparticles, these five people have billions of nanoparticles. And as a result, the nanoparticles went from the chip and into their brain, giving these five people special powers. One of these is called Rachel, and she has a different type of nanoparticle to anyone else. Originally, the scientists were gonna use this dark, really powerful kind of metal, but it was too expensive, so they decided to use this kind. Uh, they're not like good or bad, it's just one's really powerful and one's weak and cheap. But due to uh, electromagnetic reasons, the two can never be close to each other. This causes problems for Josh and Rachel, both of which are five of the special people. Um, so they both have more than anyone else, but they can't really be together. But they only, but fortunately there isn't enough nanotechnology around that that's a problem. Except when Carlos, who can alter power levels, uh, who is also one of the five people, Carlos convinces Josh to create a second world. Josh's power is that he can create a world that lasts two minutes whenever he says what if. If he says the phrase what if and in a scenario, uh, a world for two, exists for two minutes where it gives him a glimpse of what would happen if this scenario took place. So he creates alternative realities, but only for two minutes. So Carlos convinced him into creating a, a world where they didn't have their powers. Using his power of alternating power levels, he switches them round so that the real Earth disappears and the fake Earth lasts. Unfortunately for Josh and Rachel, the fake Earth is entirely made of nanoparticles, meaning Rachel gets left behind. Using uh, something called an Ultimax, which is their form of car, uh, Josh manages to go and get Rachel back. But, Rachel coming back causes a lot of people to die. While Josh, Rachel and a friend they hang out with called Chris are s hiding away, Rachel gets kidnapped while Josh and Chris are confronting Carlos. Basically, a lot of things goes down with Carlos and it turns out the only way to restore the Earth is to kill Rachel. If, if anyone wants to read the book and they don't want me to ruin anything, then um, skip the next three second. Rachel dies. And that is when book two starts. Basically book two starts and it's a, it's a few years later um, and it's this new guy, you've never heard of him before, and he's going about his life. Uh, basically he discovers his dad was one of the people who invented the chips and that's all weird. Then uh, there's the book three um, and that's basically the whole story from Carlos's perspective and it goes on to, and it catches up with the point of which book two left off and it ends and the whole series ends with book three. Um, I say book three, it's actually in three parts and it's all in one book. It's called What If and when it comes out, when my proofreaders finish proofreading, it will be out and you'll be able to buy it and it's only going to be five pounds, don't know what that is in dollars, but yeah, I'd, I'd love it if you guys buy it, that'd be amazing. So my latest song is up on YouTube and you can totally check that out here. Video is just going to end mid sentence.